Good morning, my loves. It is almost six o'clock here at the lake. As you can see, the sun is just starting to come up. This is a very interesting observation I wanna share with you. We all know narcissists, all of us. Those that like to push our buttons, manipulate us, control us. And the covert narcissist, oh, we all love the covert narcissist, the passive aggressive. Have you noticed? Now just think about this. Have you noticed once you see the narcissist for who, what they are? You don't necessarily have to call them on their game because once you figure out their game, you know what they're doing, why they're doing it. Your entire persona is going to shift because you're not going to be the victim of their bullying anymore. You're gonna see them for who they are, what they are, and it's pathetic. Once they know, you know, oh, hell. Now, they may get a little riled up in the beginning. They may try to push your buttons in public. Nothing like a little public humiliation. Do not react. Do not respond. Seriously, look at them and say, seriously? I don't think so. And you turn around and you walk away. It might get worse. They might get a little louder, a little prouder. Let them. Their friends and cohorts around them might be jeering you on and let them. Because one of them will come to you and say, hey, what's up? What changed? I just saw them for what they are. That's all you have to say. I know the truth. You'll figure it out on your own, I hope all you need to say. They don't like that. The narcissist does not want anyone to see them for the weak person they truly are. Now at this point, you have taken away their weapon against you. They may go after your friends and family. They may try a smear campaign against you. Well, that's fine too. Let them. Because honey, people that know you and love you and respect you aren't going to change their minds about you because of what this person says. It's not going to make any difference. They're going to see, yep, that you were right all along. This person is just what you said they were. It's not going to work. The narcissist is going to fail. They will run into the shadows. They will more or less ghost you, but they're still lurking. They'll always be in the shadows trying to figure out, how did you figure them out? But the problem should resolve itself. Now, for the covert narcissist, the passive aggressive, they're a piece of work. And we all know these people, the backhanded compliments, the ones that say something really tacky and then will say, oh, I'm just joking, can't you take a joke? You're so sensitive. The covert narcissist. Once you figure them out, they will pout. They inst I don't care if they're 75 years old, they will immediately become a three-year-old pouting. They will isolate. They will pout. Nobody understands me. This is why I don't have friends. No, you don't have friends because you're a covert narcissist. And the one or two friends that you do have put up with you because they pity you. But that's the covert narcissist. They're always going to be the victim. They're always going to have an excuse for their behavior. People don't understand them. They had a bad childhood. They just can't make friends. They don't know how to make friends. If you're an adult, you figured out how to make friends, probably by the second grade, you figured it out. They're manipulators. They pout. They throw tantrums. That's what they do. Why? Why does any child throw a tantrum? Why would they say, oh, nobody likes me, everybody hates me, for your pity, for your attention, so that you will cave in and give them whatever they wanted in the first place? The world of the narcissist. See them for who they are 
and what they are. Once you cave into their demands, it's never going to stop. Then they know they can manipulate you. Once they know that their tantrums and their pity parties are going to work against you, that's all you're going to see. It starts in childhood and goes from there. Be aware. See people for who they are as they are. Not who you want them to be. Not who you think you can mold them into being. See them for who they are. What they are. Take the appropriate steps. Do not react. Do not respond. They're not worth your time and energy. Walk away.